Have you got any ideas for how that's going to be used? Yeah, uh, what I want to do is incorporate this with my rocket because I've started a seven metre rocket. We're building the launch pad for that. And I want to put a seven metre rocket up in the air, deploy a parachute, and as it's coming down, I want to catch it with this. I believe we can do it, it's ambitious. It would be capable of lifting 100 plus kg. We can remove this carbon fibre seat, fit winches, cameras, all sorts of uh, things inside this, and it would be flown like this uh, because we're not landing on water. Would this be a remote control operation? Oh yeah, yeah. So rocket Lab caught their returning rocket actually just out at sea here. They caught it with a helicopter, but the helicopter pilot um, ditched it for technical reasons. I'm guessing that the helicopter wasn't handling too well, but he did catch it. That's a very ambitious project. Yeah, it's, it's ambitious. We're always over ambitious. But I don't see any reason why we can't do it. And if we need a uh, reliable uh, rocket that we're putting up there, uh, and then we just need to work on our drone and how we detect it in space and uh, capture it. But this can lift 100 kg. Uh, my rocket, when it's fully fueled up, only will weigh about maximum. Four. I think this is a great feature that this is designed to fit into a kayak. It's designed to come out of that kayak. You can remove the seat and then we've got all this internal space where we can fit what well, anything up to 100 kg. So it, it's actually, if it all works properly, you know, it's got, it's got great uh, potential for, you know, just flying in it but working hard as well. I'm pretty sure we can uh, catch our rocket with it, but uh, it's got lots of uh, other applications. You don't really know until you've built something and tested it, but it's not, it's not particularly going in any, any one direction. It's a multi-purpose vehicle uh, to, to have some fun with. But the potential of, of catching returning rockets with drones rather than a pilot risking their lives is valid. You know, we have the technology to produce drones capable of the work, I believe, even if you have to use more than one. That's the challenge. No need to risk a pilot. Let's catch a returning rocket with uh, an automated drone. If it all works and we're happy with it, it would be, because we've got a prototype, quite easy uh, to make a full carbon fiber uh, module uh, that's half the weight. And we would do it in one piece. This is designed to be stripped down and rebuilt inside a kayak. If it all works, we would, we would invest and put a full carbon fiber system and we would cut the bottom of the kayak uh, out and uh, it could be inserted uh, like that.